Good afternoon. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I was getting ready and then I thought about what I look like. Um, have you guys ever, because I have mineral sunscreen on top and then I'm using this instant age rewind eraser treatment makeup from Maybelline and it reminded me of a movie. Have you guys ever watched Pleasant Bell? which is a dystopian movie where they enter this perfect world this 1950s family tv show world and everyone is in black and white and then they start to turn into color and i believe in one of the scenes if i'm remembering correctly they put makeup on a character to make them not black and white or the opposite way i don't i don't know i don't remember but this is what i kind of remind myself of now <laughs> I am currently getting ready to go grocery shopping to pick up some things to make a crock pot meal either today or tomorrow. That leche de tigre that I did, it was a 7 out of 10. It wasn't a hit, okay? Miles did not love it and I also thought it was underwhelming. Maybe I did it wrong. We're trying out a new chicken recipe and it's going to be a buffalo chicken recipe. And I was thinking that would be wonderful with tortillas. <laughs> I'm always making more tortillas or empanadas like that. Um, and that might be tomorrow's meal. Not sure because it's late in the afternoon and the crock pot does take some time. And I'm just painting on my face <laughs> to protect my skin from the sun. This is why I do it. I look crazy though. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. And if you're not, that's okay. But I do hope that you feel better soon. I also purchased the other day this press on powder. <laughs> I don't know how to do makeup guys. It's from Makeup Revolution and it's pressed powder. I don't even know if this is the one to set my makeup because when we were at the beach in last week's vlog, <laughs> I wore sunglasses and I put them on my head and then I looked quickly in the mirror and it was like house of wax and my skin looked like it was melting so <laughs> we're trying we're trying here but if we're successful we really don't know we're not a makeup type of person I used to be so anti makeup at one point in time and now I'm for it because I love how it protects the skin maybe from the sun right and I'm just putting on that armor. Let's blend this out. We look more normal as we continue to just rub the brush. I don't know. Please be kind, cause I don't know. Baby. Cause I've been in public looking really crazy <laughs> with my makeup. Either extremely pasty, unblended, just scary. I look a mess and I'm trying not to look as much of a mess. Most of the time, I look a mess with everything like makeup, fashion, I'm learning, okay? So I think that's good. <laughs> I don't know. We also got some things to protect our lips when we picked up this Makeup Revolution Press Powder. We picked up this CarMax SPF 15 sunscreen for our lippies and then another way to shield our lips is to use lipstick and this is in the shade 297 red passion i'm gonna blot it off so it just gives you that natural type of pinky reddish lip so it's gonna be the sandwich of carmax lipstick carmax we aren't playing any games when it comes to protecting our skin okay it's a pretty color it has more of a blue tone in it i definitely think this may be a neutral red We are starting to leave the house more, so we have to get it together, okay, baby? In the winter, I hibernate just like a bear. <laughs> I'm not in these streets. No, no, thank you. No, no. Bam. Yeah, that's it. Got to figure out how to do my hair, baby. I don't know. My hair right now, I have to wash it. I decided not to and it was a bad move on my call. We're getting ready to drive, so let's pray really quickly. Dear Heavenly Father and Jesus, please let us get to our destination safely. Let there be no accidents. Let us have a peaceful ride there and please protect us. 
and get us there safely. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, there's pollen everywhere. Ooh. Okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up, baby. Back it up. <clears throat> I am apologize if this is not the most flattering camera angle. It's the only one I got at this moment simply because, baby, I need to get a tripod stand for the car. And this is the safest way I can put up the camera without there being anything crazy happening. Yeah, baby. Miles is working and he has a really busy day. So, I am driving. Usually, I don't drive. I am the passenger of this as far as We're gonna go to Trader Joe's and we're gonna go to Whole Foods. So, thank God there's no one behind me to make it right. <laughs> because I'm a very cautious, patient driver. And in the state of New Jersey, there's a lot of aggression, baby. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the water. I don't know, mommy. But, uh, I am the opposite of that. I like a peaceful worship <laughs> drive or prayer drive. Okay, baby. It is what it is. I'm getting more comfortable driving and speaking with you guys, but I'm not there 100% yet. After I grocery shop and just do a little mini haul in the car, because guess who forgot bags? This girl. And in New Jersey, you need to bring your own bag to the grocery store, so. <laughs> Perfect, wonderful, amazing. For a minute, I got lost there. I was just like, am I going the right way to Trader Joe's? And I realized, yes, I am going the right way. You know how you sometimes just like, days out? <laughs> you know, you don't even know how you arrived to your destination? Yeah, that was happening to me in that millisecond right there, so. My birthday is coming up. I was planning on getting my hair cut, but maybe I don't know if that's gonna happen. My sister used to cut my hair, my older sister. She's a cosmetologist that I mentioned to you guys previously. And I always trusted her cutting my hair because some of those hairdressers are scissor happy and I like my long hair. And I was planning on getting curtain bangs with some long layers, but I don't really know anyone like that that I trust with my hair. And my sister, she moved to Florida, so I've been trimming my own hair. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely um, an adventure. I will never trim my own bangs again, and I will never let my mom trim my bangs, <laughs> even though my mom is in Florida. Because my mom, one time, she gave me bangs and they, she kept cutting them because she was like, oopsie, made a mistake, oopsie. And it was so short. It was like, it was like this. And I have an oval face, so I look like an Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, so I don't really trust my mama to cut my hair, even though she's in Florida with my sisters. I need to find a hairstylist that I trust. And around the house, there is a salon that I've been interested in, but they don't have a website and they don't have their services listed, nothing like that. And so I direct message their Instagram because I want more information. I don't know if that's the appropriate thing to do, but I never got a message back. And since it is my birthday month, I want to take care of myself a little bit more. And I was thinking about getting a haircut from an actual professional instead of myself. I am not a professional and I just trim like the dead ends. And what I've noticed is that my sister used to cut my hair with a face frame, right? And now that face frame has grown out and the hair just looks heavy. I wanted to get those long layers and the curtain bangs because I think that would add some flavor to my hair, but <sighs> I don't know of a hairstylist in New Jersey. If you know anyone, that would be awesome if you do know someone and you can recommend someone because I would like to get a haircut. Merging is the scariest thing in my life. Whenever I am trying to merge, I just look at the person behind me and I'm like, please, please help, please let me merge. Because I am not, I am not the one that merges. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're almost at our destination and I think I might be running out of battery space so I am going to talk to you guys after I get out of the grocery store. Okay? Okay guys, we're gonna do a mini haul while I am parked at Whole Foods. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time on my camera, hopefully, crossing fingers. Whole Foods, I'm just getting milk and bread, but let's quickly do the haul, okay? First things first, these plantain chips, absolutely delicious. They're a big yes, a big yes. I like to mix these with the taco soup. Olive oil. This is gonna go into the crock pot chicken. It's this onion and chive cream cheese spread. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Designer way all day and I got this vanilla almond milk to mix it with. These are Miles' favorite chocolates. These sea salt butterscotch chocolates. He loves these so I got two. This pasta. <sighs> it's the best tasting pasta ever. You will be happy with this purchase if you like pasta. Chicken broth, hit them with a chicken broth. You can use this in rice, in crack pot recipes, and everything. Love this chicken broth. It is chicken bone broth, excuse me. Question, where would we be without these three? Okay, the taco mix seasoning, the agua chiles, or green chilies, um, and the diced and fire roasted tomatoes. <laughs> Baby, where would we be? Coconut milk? I love to use this coconut milk in our smoothies. I just like it because it's literally coconut milk and water. Other coconut milks you find on the market contain so much stuff and this is just two simple ingredients and it tastes better. And I put them in our morning smoothies, okay? Next, pineapple juice. Then we got some Argentinian shrimp. This is so yummy and delicious. You can make pasta with it. You can mix it with rice, so versatile. Steak, steak, I like me some steak mommy, some chicken mommy, some chicken, and last but not least, we cannot forget, camera focus mommy, she's having a hard time today, let's be gentle with her, last but not least, the sunscreen. So, that's everything that we got from Trader Joe's, I'm running out of space, so I will talk to you guys when we get home. The next day. Good morning, it is Tuesday and we are going to be making for breakfast today a savory breakfast. Last night I went to the sauna and I was watching a video on healthy habits for women and one of the things that was mentioned was to have a savory breakfast and I thought I'd share that with you guys because it helps to balance our hormones throughout the day. So what we're having this morning is a egg sandwich with avocado and our usual smoothie um, that has coconut milk and the fat helps to give me a second give me a second <laughs> i think the fat helps to control the sugar coming into our system so we don't have an insulin spike so that's why i like to use coconut milk in my drinks and we're also going to be preparing our crock pot chicken. Do you hear that tip tap? That's Luna. Hi baby, did you use the bathroom? You want a drink? Do you want a mommy? Yes. Okay. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Then I do a drink. So let's do that. Let's make the crock pot chicken together. I got this hot sauce. <laughs> Cholula hot sauce. Cholula? I don't know if I'm saying that right. It reminds me of Miss Cholula <laughs> from That's So Raven. Yes, that's also another guilty pleasure. But yeah, Miss Cholula is going to be using this hot sauce today. And cream cheese. This cream cheese, it is onion and jack. <laughs> I need to stop. I can sing and talk all the time. That's just one of the things about me. But I need to rein it in sometimes. And this is from Trader Joe's. <laughs> it is. I showed you guys yesterday. I showed you. I showed you. What am I talking about? I showed you yesterday. So uh, let's do that. I was just thinking about mixing these two. I don't know what else to mix. Um, 
and just mixing that with the chicken with salt, pepper, and a little bit of butter and call it a day. Okay, we have our things for the crock pot. Okay, um, first things first, let's open up the cream cheese. Mm, oh, this smells delicious. I'm about to make some bagels, baby, because this is my so good. I'm about to use half of this in the crock pot. Yeah, um, I don't know what I'm doing. This cream cheese, ooh, mama, mommy. <sighs> Smells so good. I kind of want to eat it right now off the spoon, but that's kind of <laughs> gross. Yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. I'm a bagel person. Are you a bagel person? Oh my God. <laughs> I love me some bagels. I've always loved bagels. <sighs> I've always loved bagels. And cream cheese. If that's disgusting, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dang, that chime is delicious. All right, now we're gonna open up Mr. Lula's hot sauce. Since Victor left, the food's no good. Since Victor left, the food's no it's undercooked and boiling the Alright, hot sauce going in. I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm going to use half. I'm going to do this recipe. Half the bottle, half cream cheese. This is very, very not well thought out. Don't be like me. I mean, on Facebook, one of my acquaintances shared a post that had a bunch of crock pot recipes. So, one just said green cheese and hot sauce. So that's exactly what we're doing, mommy. I don't know. This hot sauce smells pretty good. Ooh, I might put some on the where we those lean those because baby, that tastes good. That smells good. I didn't taste it. Actually, let me taste it. Let me taste it for you guys. I hate Tabasco hot sauce, so I hope it's not like that. It's not like that. It has a kick. But not too crazy. Wait, wait. Not too crazy. There was one time I said to Miles, I like spicy food. So when he cooked for me, he cooked eggs, baby. He put jalapenos. He put hot sauce. I almost died. And back then I was a people pleaser, so I didn't say anything. I was just like, oh, these eggs are good, right? <laughs> and I'm like, do you have any juice? And he gave me some juice, right? And when he turned his back, I swallowed the juice. Because it was so spicy, baby. So spicy. All right. We got some here we go, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Here we go, butter. Here we go, butter. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to throw some in. I don't know if I should throw sour cream in, too, because I already have the cream cheese. Baby, I already have the cream cheese. I don't know. Use the same thing and we're gonna get our tongs. I you should not be cutting toys yourself. Don't be like me. Okay? Don't be like me. Don't be like me, mommy. Don't be like me, mommy. Don't be like me, mommy. <laughs> yeah. Chicken going in. Hopefully this recipe is good. Like I mentioned, the leche de vigre, it didn't come out. I think I messed it up. I didn't honestly look a recipe, I just, you know, thought, ooh, this might all be good together, and oops, oopsies, oopsies, we lost the oil. Um, yeah, I thought, ooh, this may all be good together. I didn't think it through. I didn't give it the attention it needed, okay? Alright, so I'm just gonna, yeah, mix this together. Of course, with the crock pot's help, the cream cheese going to melt and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I was thinking about making buffalo chicken tortillas. I think I mentioned to you guys with avocado, you know. I want to make healthy meals, but I also want to make them tasty, baby. I definitely think that you don't have to compromise 
of the tape, okay? And the reason why I decided to make these because my husband and I used to go to a gym that would sell prepackaged meals and we would have these buffalo chicken quesadillas and they were so yummy. And so I'm trying to recreate that. That's where the inspiration is coming from. Today, I don't know if to put salt. I'll just put a little, you know, a little razzle dazzle. And uh, yeah, we're gonna cook this on high for four hours and then low for another four hours. I'll share with you guys what it looks like when it's ready. Later in the evening, Miles and I just got back from the sauna. I took a quick shower. I washed my hair earlier. I blow dried it, wrapped it, and it is time now to eat the crock pot chicken that I made. And I had a little bit, and I'm going to tell you, this recipe is a win. Okay, it tastes absolutely delicious, and we're going to have it with tortillas. Okay, we're going to have it as a tostada. Look who joined us. In the kitchen, in the kitchen, <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, this is what the chicken looks like. So yummy, it's ready. Mm -hmm. It is Wednesday. I like how my hair came out today. Highly recommend blow drying it before you curl it and I also learned a different way of curling my hair when it came to the nape of my neck I used to individually curl the strands and it just didn't come out right but I watched a video yesterday that when it came to the nape of the neck the hair you just wrap it as one and so my hair looks better and I thought I would share that with you guys my camera is about to die so I'm going to charge it really quick and I do want to share with you the devotional of today. My eyes, oh, I'm crying. Energy, yes. Yeah. So let me charge my camera really quickly and I'll come back to you guys. 24 hours later. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I didn't get a chance to speak to you much yesterday just because the day was just like one of those lazy, relaxed days. And this past week, I haven't really been studying my Bible. I have been in prayer, but I haven't been studying in my Bible. And I am just feeling like my soul just feels icky. So I woke up this morning and I'm like, God, I'm going to Bible study after I eat breakfast and after I do my LED mask, I'm going to study my Bible. In addition to feeling like my spirit feeling icky, I was just feeling bad as a person. Because I'm like, God, I love you. Your relationship with me is the most important. But then I'm not really spending time to get to know him by reading my Bible. And you want to know the verse of the day? God is just so loving. Okay. <laughs> um, the verse of the day on you version. Okay, baby. It's loading. Give it a second. Therefore, there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. And I was like, okay, God, that was confirmation that I'm not a horrible person. I always struggle with feeling like a horrible person. And so I'm like, I can't wait to read my Bible. I'm just going to eat my breakfast really quickly. And I was on Instagram and I was looking at a couple of people's stories. There was a reel that was posted by someone that I know from Keith Lee. This is like my first time um, knowing about Keith Lee. The reel hit me. It touched my spirit. He said you are where you are supposed to be and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you are not what other people think that you are you only become what other people think you are when you accept it 
And when you begin to label yourself by others' perceptions or by labels provided by culture, then you box yourself in. So he said that he's not a content creator, he's a vessel of God. And I thought that was really interesting because I did label myself in my past video as a content creator. So I'm here to rebuke that and say that I'm a vessel of God, okay? That's the first point that I wanna make. And then the second point that he made is that science says, show me and I'll believe. And faith says, believe and I will show you. So I thought that was, God is, oh, God is good. I was feeling very much distant because I wasn't reading my Bible, feeling like, God was angry with me and then somehow God always finds a way to communicate to me the things that I need. So try not to cry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know who needs to hear that. I needed to hear that. I honestly want to share with you the Instagram reel that I saw because I didn't speak it as eloquently as he did. But let me just show you. I'm going to say it one more time. Science says, show me and I'll believe. Faith says, believe, and I'll show you. God is amazing. I don't know who I'm talking to. I really don't. But you, you, be you. There's no traffic in your lane. There's no, there can be no competition if you in your own freeway. Ain't no traffic on your freeway. Can't nobody get on your freeway unless you let them. The only way the enemy on the outside wins, if there's an enemy on the inside. If there's no enemy on the inside, the enemy on the outside can do no harm. God is amazing. Y'all be safe. <laughs> this is how we're starting off Thursday. We're going to do some Bible study. And then we're going to clean. <laughs> but I'm grateful to clean. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful that you're here. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. The following day. The next day. My eyes tearing. Good afternoon. Happy Saturday. And it is a happy Saturday. You know why, baby? Because machine. Machine. Package came in. Okay. It came in this morning. And I I need to get a tissue. Hold up. I'm sorry if I smack my gum. Crazy. Ah. Okay, that's better. If my eye looks smaller than this eye, it's because of allergies. Allergies, okay, baby? Okay, as I was saying, I was excited to open this bad boy this morning, but I was like, no, let me wait. Let me open it with my girls, okay? So that's what we're doing right now, okay? And it's a mini haul. I only got four things, nothing crazy, okay? But you should know that your girl is in the process of cleaning out her closet. She is in the process of updating her wardrobe, okay? I had a lot of statement pieces. That's one theme that I was noticing in my closet. I have a lot of statement pieces and not enough basic ones. And so that's what I have decided to invest in this year because statement pieces don't stand the test of time. Let's get into the mini haul. I'm sorry if I'm chewing gum. Let me get it out of me. Okay. What inspired this haul is this little black tube top that I got from Sheen last week. <laughs> and I like it because the material is nice. It's not too cropped, okay? I don't know on camera if you can see my nipples. I can't really see. Um, but I know I need to get nipple pads with this because with the light, for some reason, this looks shiny and see-through. And baby, baby, um, I'm not trying to show you my nipples. I'm sorry if you saw them. Basically, I do like this top because it is so versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It feels nice and comfortable. You can size down if you like a tighter fit or you can be your own size. I feel like your own size is, is, is a tight enough fit. You can size up if you like a looser fit. Baby, it's up to you how you like to wear your clothes. But anyways, 
this is what inspired that because I like the way that it fit and the way that it looked in fact that it wasn't too cropped I got two more I'm afraid to use the scissors because I don't want to cut any of the pieces okay so I'm just gonna barbarically open this I apologize One in white and one in this beige. Let's open up the beige. Ooh, so pretty, so cute. Let's try it on. This is the beige one. Again, I'm sorry if you see nips. Um, super cute. Really like it. Really, really like it. Okay, let's try on the white one. <gasps> super cute. Let's try it on. Okay, the white one. Super cute, super cute, but I highly recommend. You either wear a bra or you get one of those nipple covers. I'm probably going to get nipple covers because it's kind of, uh, it just feels freeing. I don't know. I feel free in this top. We dig it. We dig it. We dig it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. I can't put the black one on now because my deodorant got onto it. That's okay. How wash it. Anyways, moving on. Another basic white tank top. Casual one. I want casual tank top so that I can wear in the house to sleep when I go out if I'm feeling casual this is a little bit more dressy for me okay of course I can put a little cardigan on this it will look cute can wear it with cargo pants with a skirt with jeans with tights you know the drill mommy so much versatility with these tube tops but I want something a little more casual and I only got one of these tank tops because like the black tube top I wanted to try it out first See how I like it. Then, if I like it, get more colors. I forgot to get a gray one in this color. It's okay. I am getting neutral colors first before I dive into other colors like hot pink, which is really cute, for the summertime, and neon orange, which is really cute for the summertime. You feel me? But we're doing basic pieces, neutral colors first before we do anything else. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm sorry, I had coffee later in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. This is the, ooh, okay. This is the casual tank. Let me put it on for you guys. Okay, this is a cute top. I'm sorry that I'm holding my breast like this just because I saw what my breast looked like. You can see my breast. You're gonna need a bra or nipple covers, preferably a bra with this one. I don't mean to rub myself, but I'm just trying to hide myself. Yeah, let me put on a bra. <laughs> Sorry. This one is cute. Really like it. Really casual, really nice. I need a different bra to wear with this. I was hoping that I didn't need to wear a bra. I didn't know that this one was see-through like that. I did size down. Maybe shame on me for sizing down. But it's cute. It's casual. And some of you said with the tube tops that you didn't need to wear a bra because it wasn't see-through not true in my experience maybe I need to size up this one you can definitely see everything 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 so that's something to keep in mind but still super cute super casual super stylish I'm just upset that it's see-through but you live and you learn okay you live and you learn I just need to buy a different bra because I don't like when my bra strap does does that no 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 ma'am okay last thing that we got is a sandal and i got these because your girl does not wear high heels no i prefer being comfortable over anything but i still want to look cute while i'm comfortable and i think these might be it i was trying to find just a little tiny 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 heel <laughs> but i couldn't find one so i said whatever it's okay these still look dressy and as you can see, they have arch support. I would try them on and show you them with my feet. But one, I have ugly feet. Two, I also got an autoimmune flare Friday. So that's why I didn't film much for you guys. You can wear them two, two ways too. You can wear this like that, okay? Or like that. And this back one is going to be supporting your heel, okay? All right, I just tried them on. They did them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah! Alright, let's try them two ways. 
food. It, the second way that I showed you, it, it, it's, it, it supposed it works. It works. But it doesn't feel as comfortable. That's everything that I got. The plans for today are really chill. I'm going to do my Bible study now and um, some grocery shopping. If you guys want to come with me, um, maybe. I don't know. I had a very lazy Saturday. I slept in, made breakfast really quick. Miles went to play paintball. I prepared a crock pot recipe. I am making steak fajitas in the crock pot. I'll share with you my thoughts on it when I do try it. I did Pilates, took a shower, and now I'm talking to you guys. So that's everything that I got. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are your thoughts? Do you have basic pieces that you love? If you do, leave them in the comments below because I would definitely check them out and invest in the basic pieces. This feels really nice. Like the fabric feels really nice. Alright, I'm going to check in with you guys at a later time. That's Luna. Opening doors. Guys, after I sent peace out, another package came in. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, look at this. <gasps> yes. Okay. Remember when I told you guys that I ordered the snail mucin serum and a lip mask? It finally came in. I placed this order in April. It was my fault because I didn't check the different shipping options. I picked the first one, the cheapest one, $5, and I'm like, awesome. It took a month to get here, which I don't mind. I did run out of my other snail mucin serum and I didn't repurchase because I was waiting for this one. And so if I decide to purchase again from Stylevana and I'm purchasing the same items, I know when the product is at least halfway that I'm gonna need to order again because it did take some time to get here. But it got here. It got here! <laughs> yeah, it got here. Okay, and this pocket's so nice, like, they really made sure that they protected this bad boy. And I'm grateful for that. I'm thankful for that. Okay, praise God, hallelujah. <gasps> I'm excited to try this. Okay, Claws are Rex. The snail mucin, like I said. I got this to replace the peaches one. The peaches one is nice. It feels like a regular hyaluronic acid serum. This is supposed to feel like mucus, which I'm excited to try the texture of it. We will possibly try this out tonight together. I'm excited. Ah! I'm excited. Ooh, I'm ready to get this mucus on my face, baby. It's been a long time since I had snail mucin, and I love what it does for the skin. It just really helps to repair the barrier, okay? And most times when we're experiencing issues with our skin, it's because our barrier is impaired. And snail mucin has been shown to help. Next thing that I got is this Plush Party Buttery Vitamin C Lip Mask. Looks like this. I got this because this is also exfoliating and I want to use it at nighttime to exfoliate my lips. I believe it has lactic acid in it as well. Oh, and it comes with its own... Dang it, dang it. I gotta clean this. It comes with a scooper so that you can put it on your lips and you don't use your hands. Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's read the description for you guys because I'm not doing a really good job on describing this product. So our SVP to softer, smoother lips with this nourishing mask made with cocoa butter that helps kiss dryness goodbye, plus a blend of antioxidant rich hibiscus flower extract and vitamin C to protect lips. Um, yeah. I'm going to try this tonight. They also gave me a sample of Centella Unscented Eye Cream. It's essential oil free Centella Estetica Extract. 47% I'm sorry if I'm butchering that four types of peptides skin firmness and elasticity mm. okay now I will check in with you guys a little bit later and we are definitely gonna be doing this together are you excited for it I am okay I apologize that I'm chewing gum like a maniac that's just me with gum I can't help it I can't be any other way okay <laughs> I'll check in with you guys later Later that same evening. Mm -hmm. 
Good evening. It is time to get ready for bed. Water flosser. Now it's time for skincare. Second cleanse. Now it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the snail mucin serum. Is this glass? No, it's plastic. I thought it was glass. Interesting. Oh, did you see that? Oh my god. I can't get it in slow motion. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Next, I want to try the moisturizer. For right now, I'm going to just spread it and then we're going to tap. Gentle on the eye area. The forehead can use a little bit more pressure as an esthetician. One of my favorite moves is this. <laughs> to talk about my impression, my first impressions on this product. I was expecting more stickiness. Perhaps if you do use more of the product, you can feel more of its texture. However, I don't think it's necessary to use that much product and I don't want to waste the product. So, you know, we didn't get the sensory experience we were hoping for, but snail mucin works really well at repairing the skin's barrier, as I had mentioned. So we're happy with it, but I feel a little bit disappointed. I thought that was going to be a lot more sticky. And I think when I see others apply the serum, they use a lot of it. And baby, no, you don't need so much. The skin can only absorb so much. So we're not going to play those games. We're not going to play those reindeer games, okay? Now we're just using a regular moisturizer to seal that in. I mentioned this, I think in last week's vlog this collagen skin rescue lotion I really like it I think it's for the body but I think you can use it throughout the body for the face and the body the last step is to seal our skin I usually use Vaseline for that but I think I might try some shea butter because I have a bunch of shea butter that's about to go bad and before it goes bad I might as well use it baby the only thing it takes a while to melt in the hands. Okay, now it is time for the plush party. I do care. Buttery vitamin C lip mask. Oh, very buttery. Mm. A little goes a long way. I must say it's very similar to Laneige. I wonder how it holds up against Laneige just because I felt like I had to frequently reapply Laneige. So I like the consistency of the product. I like how my lips feel hydrated. I like the color of the product. Even though it seems like it's clear, it leaves this very very light shade of pink on the lips and it makes the lips look really healthy however not sure how well it will hold up and not sure how well my lips will look like tomorrow but we will share that with you in another vlog and with that being said i am going to be ending this week's vlog right now i hope that you enjoyed this week's video I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Who's
day to day. <laughs>